Well, in Harlem, there are not a dual level, if you really trust the authenticity, there's not a dual level such place that exists. This exists in my head in what I grew up in. That room is a room that I understood um, intimately because uh, I had lived there for a moment. Um, They're all like row homes together. And uh, it was an environment that I grew up in and the, um, the couch was the fabric of the couch that was in my uncle's house and the wallpaper was the exact wallpaper in my uh, grandmother's house. And it was a hodgepodge of, 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 of an experience that I had to the plant, to everything. It was a, like sort of a, an, uh, a childhood memory. So it was very real because it was, it was etched in my brain. And, and then I decided to shoot that uh, with the feeling that I had growing up of, of uh, uncertainty, of not knowing whether or not the social worker was going to come to, to take our welfare off. And, 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 and you, you, the, the camera is shaking because that's where my head was at at all times, being afraid of, of, of uh, you know, the electric being cut off or, uh, you know, or some bill collector coming to the house. So it was a shaky sort of unsettling feeling. Okay, I was going to ask you about tone and your DP and shooting those scenes. Great. It, it was you know, here's the thing. I can't take credit for the, I can't take credit for it. I watch some directors talk and they, it's like, they, they, like, this is, I'm just one guy who just sort of, these guys are genius. Like my production designer was, like I said, this is what I like. And like, wow, it, it happened. You know, um, my cinematographer, this is what I want. And like, wow, it sort of happened. Um, my hair, I mean, I told this woman, I said, I, you know, all those girls, I wanted to look a specific way because they all looked like girls that I grew up with. And I sat down with her and I said, can you give me this? And she did. So um, it's, a, it's, it's such a collaborative, true collaborative that I can't take credit for. Uh, people talk about Gabby's, we were in a Q&A and somebody said, well, gosh, she's just a changed woman at the end of the film. You know, she looks up at the sky and she's smiling. And um, I cannot take credit for that. You know, that was the last shot of the movie. And that's what someone feels like when you are loved and you're being made to feel like a movie star. That's, that's what, that's her spirit talking. That wasn't acting. Sorry, Gabby. But that, was, <laughs> that wasn't acting. Okay, we're gonna open questions up to the audience, but first I wanna know what's up for each one of you. What's next on, the, on your plate? Um, I, um, a couple of things that I'm in negotiations with that I, I'm okay, not. You I, can't talk about. I was going to talk about it until today, and then some stuff happened. It's like you know, you never know what the heck's going to happen. So uh, I don't know. I know that I'm doing a. Uh, in the future, I'll be doing Miss Saigon, which is a musical that I'm thrilled about, uh, and that's what's in development right now for me. Great, Gabby. Uh, I just wrapped my second film. Uh, uh, three weeks Congratulations. Ago. Shout out to Gabby, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> She's a movie star. Yeah, you yeah, gonna move to Hollywood? Uh, uh, you can. Yeah, you, know you, want. <laughs> you know you want to. You know you want to. I'll miss, I, it'll force me to learn to drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Paula? I, I also just finished a comedy with Queen Latifah. It's a romantic comedy and it's a completely different character than the one that you see in this film. So it's fun. Yeah, I play uh, what I like to call a gold digger with a heart of gold. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I was just told we're out of time. So <gasps> can we do a, sorry. Let's do a couple questions. Well, can we do a couple please? 